Hey. All right. Sorry. Man, good thing I'm watching the chat room here. All right. So let's start over. All right. See, that's all right. We'll, we'll get this. We'll get it. We'll make it. So uh, let's go ahead and um, basically let me start off what we were saying again is we're just trying to get a quick, easy way to get some fake reflections on a 2D logo or even a 3D logo if you want to apply it to that as well. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm already inside. I already did my transition, but I blew it. That's all right. So here we go. So what I got here is just a 2D logo uh, from you know Phoenix Studios logo. And I just brought the paths in as masked here. Uh, straight from Illustrator, just pasted them onto a solid. So let's go ahead and add some uh, quick fake reflections to this logo. And we're kind of giving it that iOS Glean sort of, uh, you know, little glossy look. And we can animate it. We can use it with the camera. And we'll jump into two examples of that real fast. So uh, first to start off, I'm just going to add a new solid here. I might make this a little bit larger. Let's go 2,500 by 2,500. And uh, real quick, just to show you, let's also make this a perfect gray for our blending mode. So I'm just gonna go up here to our black levels. I'll make this 50%. And now we have a uh, perfect 50% even gray that we can use for our blending mode. So let's go ahead and I'll delete this one. And uh, let's see here. So this is gonna be, we'll just add a little, uh, you know, a little circle mask right here to our logo. And let's go ahead and I'll drag this up. And this is a real simple tutorial, but you know, it could come in handy depending on when you need it. So, all right, cool. So here we go. And all I'm gonna do is just start playing. You can either do blending modes or even opacity. So let's just kind of see what that looks like with the colors here. And you know, that's nice. That gives a nice little highlight where we'll set it to add. So now the trick is, is how do we get rid of the circle? Well, it's easy. All we have to do is use this uh, underlying transparency button here. And there we go. So, I mean, we can do this with, uh, you know, obviously any shape, but let's go ahead and just sort of test this out and, you know, move this around. We'll get a little bit of that highlighty look. And next to kind of blend it together a little bit more, let's go ahead and just bring the opacity down ever so slightly. Cool, and so we kind of get this nice little fake uh, reflection look on our logo. And you know, if you want, you can kind of even take it as far as blend it with the feathering. Let's move the opacity up a little bit. Hope you guys can kind of see that. And you know, I kind of like uh, not too much, whoops, not too much feathering whenever I use this technique. And if you want, you know, we can do option, uh, whoop. Set a position keyframe there. And, you know, you can move it onto the side and we can kind of get this little nice uh, reflection sort of uh, going across the logo here. So that's just a quick overview of how to use the technique. Um, what I also like to do is, you know, sometimes I get these computer screen animations where they want to show a website scrolling or how a website works. And let me show you what's nice about this technique. If you leave it a 2D layer, but you're moving around in 3D space, you get these reflections that kind of move around um, on the screen. It looks, uh, it looks good, it looks pretty natural. So let's go ahead, I'll add another solid again. We got that 50% gray going on. And we'll make it, and we'll just make this even larger because I'm gonna kind of turn it to the side. Whoops, let's try that again. Not 300, we want it to be 3,000. There we go. All right, cool. And so for this, instead of that circle, I might just go with, uh, let's just go with a couple of squares here, a couple of rectangles. Let's make sure I'm on a layer there. All right, cool. Let me uh, bring this over a little bit more. Maybe this is a little bit of a thicker reflection. Take this mask. Go ahead and I duplicate the mask right here at the bottom. And we'll just bring this over again and sort of make this a little bit skinnier. Kind of 
kind of faking sort of a softbox studio reflection look that we do in some 4D or, you know, even on a live shoot. So what I'll do is I'll just select all these, double click them again, and I'm just going to rotate them sideways. Scaled up a little bit. All right, cool. So there we go. So we got our kind of setup going on there. Now I'll do the same thing. We'll switch over my modes here. And we'll make sure our transparency is on. And let's go ahead and just blend this, blend this back in to kind of give that fake uh, screen look. So even imagine if this was in, you know, like a like an infographic of a computer screen, and this is the screen that you're replacing and you want to fly around it. Well, let's go ahead and add a, so our screen is 3D. Let's add a new camera. All right, we'll click OK. And let's go ahead and just sort of orbit this so we can see how the reflections move around. All right, so actually this is a good little side tutorial. So let's go ahead and take a look what's happening to my camera here. So my orbit isn't really painting around the object. We're kind of getting this weird sort of turning. And if this ever happens to you, uh, what it most likely is is your setting is on one node camera. You want to switch that to two node camera because then it kind of gives you more of the perspective of where your camera is actually panning and tilting from. So just to show you again really quick, this is the one node camera. See how I orbit? It's kind of orbiting from the camera versus the basically the point of interest. Let's go ahead and just delete that. And I'm going to add a new camera. We're going to make a two node camera. And now let's kind of check out this orbit. So cool. As you can see, we're orbiting around our object instead of, you know, panning and tilting the camera. All right, cool. So there we go. So, you know, while we're here, I'm going to turn up this opacity just so we can kind of take a look at what's happening with our reflections here. So let's do a little camera move on this and we can kind of see, you know, how we're getting these nice little reflections. So I'm like, let's go. 25 frames out. I'll select this position, hold shift to get rotation on there. And let's just do both of these. Let's start back. And maybe we're kind of to the side and over. You know, just kind of making it random so we can kind of see what those reflections look like. Let's sort of ease into this. All right. And let's sort of, maybe we'll just kind of come into it this way. And over time, we'll rotate and maybe, let's say we're going to zoom in a little bit. All right, cool. So what's nice about this is instead of just having our computer screen, we're gonna get these sort of fake reflections happening as well. So let's go ahead and just tone this down a little bit. And let's just ram preview this real quick. All right, so yeah, we wanna smooth our camera out a little bit, but what we're getting is, uh, you know, these nice little reflections on top of the screen here. And we could even take this a step further if we wanted to. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe just slightly over time, the position, let me unhide this so we can look at it. Maybe the position just sort of, you know, glides across our screen a little bit, giving sort of that fake glean across this. So let's just look at that real quick. All right, so yeah, again, you know, as all things, we'd kind of want to refine this and make it look a little nicer, but yeah, that's uh, just a quick little tutorial today since I wasn't quite 100% sure how the streaming would go. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I, you know, I hope that helps. Um, thanks for tuning in for the live stream. Uh, thanks for everyone letting me know that uh, the audio wasn't working. Harry, giving you a shout out there. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And, you know, uh, I would love to do more live streaming in the future, so uh, hopefully we can kind of get in the routine of this. I was thinking Pixel was going to come in there. But, 
Um, otherwise, guys, uh, tutorial again next Friday. I don't, I don't know if we'll do a live stream again. I, I kind of got some longer tutorials in mind. But, uh, yeah, for these quick little tips, you know, maybe this is the way to do it. But uh, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of the Friday. I'll talk to you next week. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks again. And I do have an outro link transition. So here we go. The 3D tracked it. We have some Z space going on. And it just uh, looks pretty cool. We're going to have our beams follow it no matter where we reposition it. Oh, wait. Bonus ending. Bonus pixel ending. Just when you thought the stream was done, we get a bonus pixel ending. Say hi, pixel. Oh, okay. Just cover the screen that works too. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you next Friday.